Reef Dudes is sponsored by Ecotech Marine and Bulk Reef Supply. Today we're going to hack the Trident testing schedule. What's going on guys? Devin from Reef Dudes. Today we are going to hack the Trident testing schedule. Now the first question you can ask yourself is why would we want to hack it? Why are we going to do this in the first place? Well two different considerations. One is the time when it tests. Uh, maybe you don't want it testing in the middle of the night or super early in the morning and potentially waking you up. I mean, if your tank's in your bedroom um, or another buddy I helped recently, it was on the opposite side of the wall as their bedroom. And again, if your wife is significant, they're super sensitive, you know, they're complaining, it's making noise in the middle of the night, that's to be avoided. Um, the other potential reason is, you know, maybe you're almost out of reagent and you need to stretch it out for a little while until you can get a re replenishment. Um, maybe you want to, you know, prolong that period and drop it down from two tests a day to one test a day. So there's lots of good reasons where you might want to tweak your schedule. Um, now a caveat with stretching it out. They are designed to be open and last, you know, those two months kits is kind of what they're designed to last. Now, if you're pushing that and trying to double it and get four months out of it, there's a lot more oxidation and reactions that are gonna happen to the reagent over time. And results may start to be skewed a little bit off, you know, pushing the far end of that schedule. So that is a consideration if you're gonna go down that route. For me, alkalinity has been fine when I try to push it a bit, but um, calcium mag did seem to be a little bit off by the, you know, but when the bottle's getting near the end, trying to push it out. But the biggest thing for me is just not having to go off in the middle of the night. So let's hop on the computer and let's get to it. Now you're gonna to wanna to go on your computer, tablet, smartphone, whatever it is, open up a browser and log. And once we're there, we need to figure out what our module ID is. Um, now for there, if you expand the top at the little gears and go into the one, the little box at the top, this is our modules. And look in here and see what number the Trident is. So in this case, on this Apex, it's number five. Now that we know that, we can go back in and edit one of our random plugs and see at the top of the menu bar here, it says slash outputs, then two slash one. We're gonna change this to five underscore three. Um, so number three is gonna be your test for everything. And number four is gonna be your test just for elk. Now this is gonna adjust the interval. So if we look at this right now, this uses the OSC command. And the OSC command basically says it's kind of initial time. And on here it says on for one minute, then off for 719 minutes. Now 719 divided by 60 gives us just shy of 12 hours, so 11.98. So that's gonna tell it to turn on every 12 hours basically, or just shy of it. Now, since we're in number three, this is for testing everything. Now, if I only wanted this to turn on and say test at you know seven in the morning, uh, we're gonna say set off. Then if time is, let's do 729. To 7.30, then on. Now, if I hit program with this, it's gonna set it to run my test at 7.29 every single morning. So I'm manually telling when this test is gonna run. Now, say I wanted to test at 7 p.m. as well, we can do the same thing. Um, so 7 p.m. would be 19.29 to 19.30. So again, 24 hour time, quick tip just minus two from it. So nine minus two, seven. So we know it's 7, 29 p.m. So now this would manually test everything twice a day. And I'm telling it to do it at 7.29 a.m. and 7.29 p.m. So this is a really good way to do it. And this would be for running, you know, our full suite of tests. Now say I only want to test the tank, you know, everything once a day and I want it to, to happen at 8 a.m. So same thing. So for at the top here, our outputs, you know, Trident module ID number, then underscore three is gonna be test everything. And if I want it to be, you know, 8.29 in the morning, 8.30, so it's basically saying be on for one minute, and we'd hit program to send it. Now, same thing, if we want to adjust what time our elk only test is. So go to our address bar, and we're gonna change the output of the module ID, so in this case, five underscore four. And now this is telling it how often to test alkalinity. Now, if we look out the OSC command here, it's telling it to wait 360 minutes. So do nothing for six hours and then turn on for one minute and then turn off for just one minute shy of six hours again. So this is kind of how it's doing that alternating with the times. Now, same thing for this one. If we only wanted to test elk at say, you know, noon, we can say set off if time 12, 
to 1201, then on. And that would do it. Now this isn't my Apex, I'm just using it as an example because it was set to that. So if I come over to my Apex, what I'm doing here, um, so for my everything on my Apex, I have it set to kick on at 745 in the morning to 746, so roughly around eight in the morning, I have my results. Um, and this is for testing everything. And again, at the top, we change our outputs to the four, this is my elk test. So I have to do an additional elk test at 745 at night. Now again, just to kind of recap how you figure this out, is you go into your settings, you go into the module ID at the top, where see where the Trident is. So this one is module ID six. Now we know we can come back into any random plug just to get the URL properly. And we're gonna change, it's gonna be slash config slash output. So I'm gonna do six underscore three. And that's again to test everything. And six underscore four would be just from my elk test. So it is just that easy to hack your Neptune Apex to do a bit of custom code. Now the biggest use case I see for people is again, if your tank is by your bedroom on the upside of the wall, or maybe it's even in your bedroom, you probably don't want to test, you know, midnight, six in the morning, you know, times when you're sleeping, especially if you have a spouse that's a light sleeper and complains about it. Happy wife, happy life. Um, so yeah, gotta keep your tank, your happy, your house, everything happy. Um, so great reason if you want to do a little bit of schedule hacking. Now the other kind of consideration too, again, if you want to make your reagent last a little longer, that is totally doable. But if you push it out too long, like only testing, you know, everything once a day and elk twice a day, it is by the end of that reagent, there is some oxidation. It is going to change it and it, your results might not be as accurate. So it's not really advisable, but it's doable depending on your situation. So take that as you will do what you must um, the power is now yours hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you did be sure to hit that like button if you got any questions let me know in the comments below if you got any other diy kind of hacky tutorial things you guys want to know hit me up and i'll see what i can do to make a video on it all right guys i will catch you guys on the next video